Hi, this is Tom Stokel, Global Technical Lead for AutoCAD Product Support, and welcome to this session on installing and configuring the Autodesk Network License Manager. Let's start with a very basic overview of the License Manager technology. The Network License Manager is used to configure and manage your license servers, and it acts as a central repository for the product licenses your company owns. For example, when you buy 10 seats of AutoCAD, you'll receive a license for 10 seats. As you add more and varied Autodesk products to your environment, you get additional licenses for those products. The License Manager acts as a controller and handles the license requests that come in when users launch products. Let's look at the basic workflow. A user launches a network license product, and that product makes a request to the License Manager for a license. The License Manager checks the available number of licenses for that product. And if a license is available, then it's granted to the requesting client. During operation, the product periodically notifies the license manager that the license is still in use. When the product is closed on the user's machine, the license is returned to the license pool and is now available to others. Now let's look at the process of installing and configuring the network license manager. The first thing you'll need to do is select a license server. This will be the machine or machines that will run the license manager. Once we have a server, we'll install the Network License Manager, and then we'll collect license server information so that we can request a license file from Autodesk. Once we get that file, we'll confirm the license file accuracy, make sure the license gets placed appropriately, we'll create a debug log file, and then we'll configure the license server and start the license server. And we'll end the process by confirming that the license server is up and running. There are a couple important things about selecting a licensed server. The first one is accessibility. Client machines must be able to communicate with the server or ping the server. The license manager uses ports 2080 and 27000 through 27009. So the licensed server needs to be able to communicate over those ports. 27000 to 27009 is used by the LMGRD master daemon and 2080 is used by the ADSK Flex vendor daemon. Many FlexNet vendors don't specify a port, so Autodesk registered port 2080 with the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. So that port is registered to us. Also, the machine that you choose needs to be available whenever licenses are requested. This could include evenings and weekends if needed. If a server is not running, clients won't be able to pull the licenses. Next, you want to make sure you're running a supported operating system on the license server. The Network License Manager can run on Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. You can also run it on a Windows Server. We can now run it on 2008 Server and Windows 2008 Server R2, as well as the Windows 2003 Server family. Once you've picked a server, you're going to need to collect license server information. The server model that you've chosen is going to affect what information you need to gather before you can request a license. For example, if you have a single license server, then all you need is the server host name and physical address for that server. If your server model is a distributed license server, then you need the server host name and physical address for the master server, as well as you need to be able to specify the number of seats on the master server and the total number of seats. In a redundant server model, you need the server host name and physical address for all three servers. The first thing I'm going to do is install the Network License Manager. You'll do this using the standard installer that comes with your product. In my case, I'm using an AutoCAD 2011 installer, but the steps are the same for any of the other products. So I'll choose the Install Tools and Utilities option. Before I go on, I want to draw your attention to the documentation. The steps that I'm covering here are thoroughly covered in the documentation that we provide. If you want to refer to the documentation, you can choose the documentation link, and that will open a browser window up to the installation and licensing help. From here, you can choose Autodesk licensing, network licensing, and now you have access to all the different topics around the network license manager, licensing tools, etc. If you find that you have questions about any step in the process, I recommend you refer to the documentation first. Now, since all I want is the Network License Manager, I'm going to uncheck all of these other options. 
and choose next. Now you have to review and agree to the software license agreement. And now it's ready to be installed. I'm going to install to the default location, which is C Program Files Autodesk Network License Manager. If you want to change that, you can choose the Configure button. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at the default location and choose Install. I get one more screen asking me to confirm that I want the default configuration. I'll say yes. And now the installation is complete. If an earlier version of the Network License Manager was already installed, you should always upgrade to the latest version. Always install the Network License Manager that comes with the newest version of the Autodesk product. Now I'll choose Finish. And the Network License Manager is installed. The next step is to collect some information about the server. What you need to obtain is the host name and physical address of the network adapter because you'll need this in order to request a license. So I can open a command window and I'll type ipconfig slash all. This window will contain a lot of information. What you want to locate is the host name and the physical address, also known as the MAC address, of your network adapter. When you submit this information, don't use the dashes, just use the 12 characters. If your server has more than one network adapter, select the one that corresponds to a physical network adapter. For example, this is a Network Connect virtual adapter. This is not the information I want. This one is my physical adapter. Since I already have the license manager installed, there's another way for me to get the host name and physical address. I can run the LM Tools utility that it created on my desktop and go to the System Settings tab. On this tab, I can see the computer host name and this is my physical address. So you can use either of those methods to get the information that you need. Now that I have my host name and physical address, I'm ready to request a license. I've opened a browser window and gone to registeronce.autodesk.com and it's asking me to log in. If you've previously registered this product, then you should use that user ID and password to log in. If you haven't registered the product and you don't have an ID, you can choose the option to create a user ID now. I'll just go ahead and log in with my existing user ID and password. Now it's asking me to select the account the product is registered to. So I'll choose the account and hit next. On this screen, I need to specify what my operating system is and enter the product serial number. This is where I need to provide the server information that I gathered earlier. For a single server model, I need to provide the host name and physical ID. For a redundant server, I need to provide the host name and ID for all three servers. If this was a distributed server environment, I would need to specify the number of servers, give the host name and ID for the first server, and then I would need to specify how many seats are on the first server and then the total number of seats. So I'm going to do a single server and put in the information that I gathered. And press next. And now it's issued me a license file. So I can choose this option to save the license file. And I will save this to the location of the Network License Manager installation. Network License Manager. And I'll create a new folder in here called Licenses. And I'll save the license into that location. So 
So now I've obtained a license from Autodesk and I put it into the Network License Manager folder. The next step is for me to confirm the accuracy of the license file. And to do this, I'll open it up in Notepad and just double check that the contents are accurate. Don't use Microsoft Word or any editor that might modify the formatting of the license file. The reason you check the file is if the host ID is not correct, the license file won't work. The license file will only work on the machine that has the same physical address. If the host name was wrong, that could be modified in the license file, but you can't change the host ID. So I've navigated to the installation directory for the network license manager, and here's the licenses folder I created. And I'm going to open up this license in Notepad. The important information is on the first line, the line that starts with server. There's the host name and physical address. So I'll verify this by running LM Tools, going to System Settings, and comparing them. There's my host name, and there's my physical address. So the license file is accurate. Close this, close the license file. As long as I'm at this location, I also need to create a folder for log files. So I'll go to the Network License Manager folder, create a new folder called Logs. This is where the License Manager will write debug log files, and you can refer to these later if you need information about how the License Manager is running. This file is often the first place to start when there's problems getting a license or problems with the license server. So in this folder I want to create a text file with a .log extension. You can name it anything you want, but it does have to have an LOG extension. I recommend naming it something that includes Autodesk so you can differentiate it from any other debug logs that might exist. Just make sure you name it with an LOG extension. Now we're ready to configure the license server. To do this, you launch the LM Tools utility that's either on your desktop or you can find it in your start menu. This is the graphic user interface that we'll use to configure the license manager. If you're not already there, switch to the service slash license file tab. Make sure configuration using services is selected and then choose the option to have LM tools ignore license file path environment variables. Then switch to the config services tab. This is where we will create the service. So you want to create a new service by giving your service a name. For our purposes, I'll use Autodesk. Then there's three paths that you need to specify. The first one is the path to the lmgrd.exe file. So hit Browse and find the Network License Manager installation directory and choose lmgrd.exe. Next you have to tell the License Manager where to find the license file. So we'll browse into this Licenses folder that we created and select my license file. And finally you need to provide a path to the debug log file. So again, I'll find the Logs folder and select the file I created. After you've specified these files, check the Use Services option and then check Start Server at Power Up. This option ensures that the License Manager will start automatically if the server has been rebooted for some reason, such as a power outage or maintenance. Now we want to save the service, confirm and say yes, and then we want to switch to the Start Stop Reread tab. The Autodesk service should already be selected. If not, just select it and then choose Start Server. You should see a message at the bottom that says Server Start Successful. We're going to do one more check to ensure that the license service is up and running. We'll do that by switching to the Server Status tab. And from here we'll choose to perform a status inquiry. 
There's a lot of information displayed in the status window, but there's two pieces of information that are important. The first one is this, Tom Servo License Server Up Master version 11.7. This tells me that the license server is up and running, and I can see that it's running the latest version, which is 11.7. The next piece of information you want to see is this, ADSK Flex Up version 11.7. This means that the license manager has successfully read in the license file, has found no errors, and has started running the service. It can now begin issuing Autodesk licenses. Here at the bottom you can see the total number of licenses issued and total number of licenses in use. At this point we're done. The license manager has been installed and configured and is up and running and ready to serve licenses. In summary, I've walked you through the process of installing and configuring the Autodesk Network License Manager. I described the information that you have to gather before you can request a license, and then we went through the process of installing the License Manager, configuring it, and verifying that it was up and running. I hope this information leaves you better prepared to run through this process yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching.